Hello, and welcome to the Nutrition Diva podcast. I'm your host, Monica Reinagel, and today I'm taking a look back at the nutrition stories that really got my attention this year. I've been hosting the Nutrition Diva podcast for 11 years now. That's 555 episodes and counting. And every year there are plenty of new products, research studies, trends, and fads to talk about. But there are always a few stories that, for better or worse, are particularly memorable. And as 2019 winds down, here are my nominations for the year's most notable nutrition stories. Most overhyped ingredient? That would have to be cannabidiol, or CBD. CBD is a chemical that's found in hemp or marijuana plants. And although CBD won't get you high, there is some evidence to suggest that it might reduce pain and anxiety, and it might also have some anti-inflammatory properties. Now, evidence from controlled studies is still quite limited. Nonetheless, CBD has become the hot new ingredient in everything from makeup to pet care products. In addition to tinctures and supplements, you can buy CBD-infused lotions, oils, room sprays, candles, and chocolates. The runaway popularity of CBD actually caught the regulatory agencies a little off guard. The Food and Drug Administration is scrambling to gather information and to formulate its position. It's still not really clear whether CBD will be regulated as a food, drug, or as a dietary supplement or some combination of those things. And in the meantime, it's pretty much the Wild West. The only CBD product to have been approved by the FDA so far is a prescription drug that treats certain rare types of epilepsy. Other than that use, the FDA considers all the other medical claims for CBD to be unproven, and they further warn that the limited data on safety of CBD does raise some significant concerns about its use in humans or in pets. A lot of the products out there riding the CBD craze don't contain enough active ingredient to pose any real risk, but that means they're also unlikely to provide any real benefit. So the quick and dirty on CBD, although the research is still preliminary, CBD may be useful as a treatment for pain, anxiety, and other conditions, but the current lack of regulation leaves consumers unprotected against potentially unsafe products and against unproven claims. So buyer beware. My pick for biggest game changer, microbiome analysis for blood sugar control. High blood sugar is a serious condition that threatens the health of more than 100 million adults in the U.S. alone. And for decades, we've taught people to control their blood sugar by counting carbohydrates. And although this was helpful, it was an extremely blunt tool. The development of the glycemic index put a slightly sharper edge on that tool, But now we've honed that edge even further. A medical research and technology company called the Wiseman Institute has developed an algorithm that can more accurately predict an individual's blood sugar response based on an analysis of their intestinal bacteria. Dietary recommendations based on this algorithm have been shown to control blood sugar better than standard dietary advice based on carbs or calories. You can read more about this new development in my recent episode number 551, Can Your Microbiome Reveal Your Ideal Diet? I predict that artificial intelligence and machine learning is going to lead to more healthcare revolutions in the near future. But just as with CBD, there are likely to be a lot of companies jumping on the bandwagon with products and protocols that have not been scientifically vetted. So you'll want to do your homework before plunking down your credit card. The quick and dirty... I think this new approach could be a game changer in the treatment and prevention of diabetes, especially if health insurers start picking up some of the tab. The worst diet fad of 2019, that would have to be the carnivore diet. This one is so absurd, it almost seems like it might have been a prank, but unfortunately, it was for real. As the name implies, on the carnivore diet, you eat only meat, fish, eggs, and dairy. No vegetables, fruit, nuts, legumes, or grains. In other words, no prebiotics, no phytonutrients, and few antioxidants. Not only is this diet nutritionally bankrupt, it also strikes me as completely out of sync with the zeitgeist. Lower carb and higher protein diets do continue to be popular, but as a society, we're becoming more aware of the environmental impacts of raising animals for food. And more and more individuals are seeking to reduce their consumption of animal foods. 
In fact, the most recent Dietary Guidelines for Americans also advised that reducing meat in favor of plant-based proteins benefits both our health and the health of our planet. The quick and dirty on an all-meat diet? No. Just no. And now, my pick for the most useful nutrition hack? The restricted eating window. Intermittent fasting continues to enjoy widespread popularity, and the research continues to validate its usefulness in managing weight and other disease risks. There are lots of different protocols that fall under this general umbrella term of intermittent fasting, but in my opinion, the most user-friendly and useful of these is the restricted eating window. Now, part of the appeal is the simplicity. You can eat as much as you want as long as you stop eating at a certain time and don't start again for a set number of hours. Although some extreme versions of this practice abdicate a four-hour eating window and a 20-hour fast, a 10- to 12-hour eating window has also been shown to be very helpful and it's much more sustainable for most people. For example, you could wait until 8 a.m. to have your breakfast and then finish your evening meal by 7 or 8 p.m. at the latest. Closing the kitchen by 8 p.m. every night effectively shuts down that evening snacking that, for many of us, contributes a lot of unnecessary calories and not a whole lot of nutritional value, and that can obviously help with weight management. But the benefits of a restricted eating window appear to be more than just about reducing total calorie intake. Because even if you eat the same number of calories, having a longer fasting period overnight can improve your blood sugar control and have beneficial effects on your metabolism. And it can also improve your digestion and your sleep quality. The quick and dirty, observing a 12 to 14 hour fast every 24 hours offers multiple benefits. This year's most misunderstood nutrition concept, leaky gut. Intestinal permeability is a real medical condition, complete with validated diagnostic criteria and treatment protocols. It's also fairly rare. Leaky gut, on the other hand, is a made-up condition that, according to the interwebs, affects 80 to 90% of the population. Contrary to popular lore, undigested food particles do not slip through gaps in the lining of your intestine and enter your bloodstream, ever. And for more on the science of intestinal permeability and what might explain some of the symptoms that you've heard attributed to leaky gut, you've got to check out my interview with Tamara Fruman. That's episode number 529. Next up is the most disruptive new product. And in my opinion, that is plant-based burgers. We've had vegetarian meat alternatives since the 60s, but you know what? They weren't fooling anyone. Tofu hot dogs, soy burgers, fake chicken nuggets, and of course, the notorious tofurkey gave vegans and vegetarians something to put in their hot dog and their hamburger buns in the summer and something to put next to their stuffing at Thanksgiving, but no one ever mistook a strip of fake bacon for the real thing. But now, new products like the Beyond Burger and the Impossible Burger are taking this game to the next level. These are not for people who don't like meat, because if you don't like meat, you're not going to like these. They look, cook, chew, and taste surprisingly like fresh ground beef. These are made for people who enjoy eating meat, but feel like maybe they shouldn't eat as much of it. Critics point out that these are highly processed foods, and they're not necessarily any more nutritious than the foods that they replace. In fact, they've been formulated to approximate the nutritional profile of ground beef. But for many, these are lesser evils than the environmental and the animal welfare impacts of eating meat. And now that the Impossible Burger has successfully made the leap into fast food chain restaurants, plant-based meats are officially mainstream. The quick and dirty, we've come a long way from tofu pups, and I'm really curious to see what the next generation of animal-free meat, eggs, and dairy products will look like. And finally, this year's Snake Oil Award goes to Anthony William, creator of the celery juice phenomenon. I don't know how he did it, but William has managed to convince an astonishing number of people that drinking 16 ounces of fresh celery juice every morning will cure you from a long list of health conditions, including a couple that he actually invented himself. He claims to have healed millions of people from everything from acne to anxiety. 
These claims are so absurd that they don't even merit debunking. Suffice it to say that although celery juice is a perfectly harmless food that contains some nutrients, it has been proven to do exactly none of the things that William claims. And it's not just a matter of there not being any published research on this stuff. I seriously doubt that any legitimate researcher is ever going to spend a cent of their hard-won research dollars investigating any of these claims because there's not even a shred of plausibility to any of them. The quick and dirty, knocking back a pint of celery juice every morning isn't going to hurt you. The end. What nutrition breakthroughs or nonsense will the next year bring? Let's find out together. Subscribe to the Nutrition Diva podcast wherever you get your podcasts. And if you have a suggestion for a future show topic, call the Nutrition Diva listener line at 443-961-6206. The new year is coming. And if you'd like to start the new year on the right foot, join me and lots of other Nutrition Diva listeners as we embark on a 30-day nutrition upgrade starting January 2nd. This is a fun and snake oil-free group challenge that can change your eating habits for the better and for good. You can get more information and register at nutritionovereasy.com slash upgrade. Our show is produced by Nathan Sems, edited by Karen Hertzberg, and our team at Macmillan Audio also includes Michelle Margulis, Emily Miller, Morgan Ratner, Kate Hines, and our director, Kathy Doyle. All of us at Macmillan Audio and Quick and Dirty Tips, and of course me, the Nutrition Diva, we wish you and your family a happy and healthy holiday. Music.